Hi, I'm Ms. Jenna, and I'm from the St. Clair County Library System. Welcome to Folk Tales and Fables, our series where we'll introduce you to some stories from around the world. Our folk tale today is an ancient Egyptian myth called The Swallow's Search. Even a family of gods is not always happy. The god Set was jealous of his older brother Osiris. All the people loved Osiris. Osiris was so powerful, you could feel it all around him, like ripples in the water where a stone has dropped. And Osiris had a beautiful, powerful wife, Isis. So Set decided to get rid of Osiris. Set was tricky. He threw a dinner party. He invited Osiris and all his friends. He served the best food, wonderful drinks, and when the meal was over, he announced, I have an amazing gift for someone, but I don't know who this gift is for. And he brought out a beautiful wooden chest that looked like it was lit from within. He said it rightfully belonged to whomever fit perfectly inside. So all the guests tried, but they were all just a little too tall, a little too short, a little too wide, a little too spare everyone until Osiris. Osiris fit perfectly. His head just touched the top, his feet the bottom. It was almost like the box had been made specially for him. Osiris laughed and said, it looks like this beautiful box is mine. And Set laughed and said, yes it is. It is your coffin. And Set slammed down the lid and locked it. And before anyone could react, he shoved the box into the Nile River where it floated away in the darkness. He thought he'd gotten rid of Osiris forever. Isis was furious. She set out to search for her husband. She spread her arms, whispered her secret name, and turned into a swallow. She flew high above the Nile, searching for Osiris. At first, she was searching to rescue him. But after many days, when she knew he couldn't be alive without food or water or air, she searched so she could perform the special rites that would free his spirit. She flew above the river, always searching, but couldn't find the box. Because the box wasn't floating on the Nile anymore. It had bumped into a tamarind tree which became so enchanted by the power in the box that it engulfed the box within its giant tree trunk. But the tree was suddenly chopped down to make a magnificent pillar to hold up the roof of a king's palace. Isis couldn't find the box floating on the Nile, but she heard, as birds hear, of the magnificent, powerful pillar. So Isis changed back into the form of a woman, and she presented herself to the queen of this palace as someone who could help take care of the baby prince. Isis cared for the baby, and she grew to love him, but she kept being drawn back to that beautiful pillar. Then one night, the queen heard strange noises coming from the baby prince's room. When she went in, the baby prince was alone in the middle of the room and he was on fire. The queen rushed and pulled him out and smothered the fire. The baby was laughing and giggling and was perfectly fine. And a swallow that had been swooping around the ceiling immediately transformed into a woman who said to the queen, what are you doing? I was turning your son into a god. Now you've broken the spell and he'll never be a god, only human. I am fond of him, and I will bless him before I leave if you'll do one thing for me. Split open the giant pillar in the palace. I believe there is something precious inside. Then Isis hugged the baby one last time as the pillar was split open, and the beautiful wooden chest tumbled out with Osiris inside. Isis pushed the box into the Nile and began to float it home where she could perform the ritual to free Osiris' spirit. Isis and the box floated during the day, and the next night she pulled it out onto the riverbank while she slept. But 
while she was sleeping, Set passed by and saw the box he'd made shining in the moonlight. He did not want Osiris' powerful spirit released, so he crept to the box and opened it and chopped Osiris's body into 14 pieces and scattered the pieces over the river and the desert and all of Egypt. When Isis woke and saw the open, empty box, she transformed again into a swallow and began to search for all the pieces of Osiris's body. She flew all over Egypt and found 13 of the 14 pieces. There was one piece she couldn't find. When she realized she couldn't find the last piece, she filled the gap with gold and made Osiris whole. She bound up all the pieces of Osiris's body and whispered the rites to release his spirit, which floated free to the duat, where all spirits go. And there in the duat, Osiris ruled as king of the dead, while Set ruled the land of the living until he could be defeated. And although Set was defeated long, long ago, even now, Isis sometimes still becomes a bird and flies high and far above Egypt, looking for that last piece of Osiris. Thanks for listening to The Swallow Search. If you liked this story, you can find other stories like it available in the St. Clair County Library System in the links below. Join us next time for Folk Tales and Fables when we'll hear a story told by Indians who live along what is now the northwest coast of the United States a story called The Boy and the Loon.